Here's the first of three problems that I'm going to do today. If you don't know how to do modular exponentiation or modular powers, then uh, you'll be pretty much an expert in 10 minutes time. I'm going to use three different methods. So even if you do know how to do these sort of problems, it might still be worth having a look because if you pick the right method in an exam or test, you can save yourself time and more time means more marks. So how do we do this first problem? Well, I'm going to use what I call the computer method. And that's because it's a very formal sort of way of doing it, uh, very well suited to programming if you're a computer scientist. And the, we start by recognizing that 94, in fact any number, can be represented as the sum of distinct powers of 2. So here we have 94 is equal to 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. So we're going to work out 3 to all of these powers, modulo 17. So we start off with 3 squared is equivalent to 9. That's easy. Then we go 3 to the 4th is 81. If you divide 81 by 17, you get a remainder of 13. And 13 is equivalent to negative 4. You're generally going to want to use the smallest numbers, whether they're positive or negative, in this sort of uh, exercise. Now we work out 3 to the 8. Well, 3 to the 8 is just 3 to the 4 all squared. So that's negative 4 squared, which is 16, which is equal to negative 1, or equivalent to negative 1. Then 3 to the 16th, well, that's just 3 to the 8th squared. So that's negative 1 squared, which is equivalent to 1. And once we get to that point, then all the following ones will be 1. So now we're ready to solve the problem. So modulo 17, we have 3 to the 94 is equivalent to 3 to the power of all of those powers of 2 that we talked about. We can split that up into a product. So that equals 3 to the 64 times 3 to the 16 times all, all the way down to 3 to the 2. And now we can just fill in what that is. So that's equivalent to 1 times 1 times negative 1 times negative 4 times 9 which is equivalent to 36, which is equivalent to 2. And there's your answer. Now on to the second problem, 3 to the 1000 modulo 26. And we're going to use what I call the human method. So this is a little bit more casual, a little bit more informal. Uh, it's the one that I use, but it doesn't. Uh, sometimes it can not work as well, but let's see how this works. What I do is I just start working out powers of 3. So 3 squared is equivalent to 9. 3 cubed is 27 is equivalent to 1. And what I'm looking for is a very low number here. So I like 1 best. The next one is negative 1 I'm happy with. Or even 2 or negative 2 will often help you. But I've got to 1 which is the best one. Then I just recognize that 1000 is equal to 3 times 333 plus 1. So now I can solve the problem. So modulo 26, we have 3 to the 1,000 is equivalent to 3. And now I represent that 1,000 power um, in terms of multiples of 3 plus a remainder. So 3 times 333 3, 3 plus 1. So that's equivalent to 3 cubed all to the power of 333 times 3 to the power of 1. And that is equal or equivalent to 1 to the power of 333 times 3, and that is equal to 3. Now we can go to the last problem, which is 40 to the power of 110 modulo 37. And I call this the theorem method. So the first thing that we can do, and we can do this with all these sort of problems, is that there's no point working with 40. We might as well just take the modulo of that 37 in this case. So we get down to 3 to the power of 110. So what we're going to use here, we recognize that 37 is a prime. And we know from Fermat's little theorem that if we take any number less than 37 to the power of 37, um, sorry, to the power of 36, we get 1. So anything basically to the power of 36, which is 1 less than 37, will give us 1. That's as a result of Fermat's last uh, little theorem, Fermat's little theorem. So basically what I'm saying is that we know from that theorem that 3 to the power of 36 is equivalent to 1. And now we use what we did before. We recognize that 110 is equal to 3 times 36 
plus 2. So now let's um, work that out. We've got 40, this is all modulo 37. We've got 40 to the power of 110 is equivalent to 3 to the power of 110 is equivalent to 3 to the power of 3 times 36 plus 2. So that's equivalent to 3 to the 36 all cubed times 3 squared, which is equivalent to 1 cubed times 3 squared, which is equivalent to 9. Now, you generally wouldn't do this, but if the number was not 37, if it was something like 38, which is not prime, well, you could use Euler's theorem in a similar sort of way to the way I've done here. I'll let you look that up. So that's it for modular exponentiation made easy. I hope you found it useful.